Hi, I'm Mrs Taylor. I will have met a lot of you on Open Evening, and for some of you I've met you in January when we had our transition days. During those days you'll have found out that I teach history. What you may not know is I'm in charge of something else called Knowledge Organisers. Knowledge Organisers are a new way of working for a lot of you. Knowledge Organisers will shape your learning in Ysgol Cambromba, how you complete your homework and how you set yourself challenges. The purpose of this video is to explain to you what a Knowledge Organiser is and how they will shape your learning during your time in Ysgol Cambromba. In September you will receive a pack like this. Inside there's a booklet and a challenge passport. Inside the Knowledge Organiser, there will be a page for every subject that you will be taught in Ascog and Bombo. So let's look at one of the pages now. Each page follows the same pattern. A is always keywords and terms and their meanings. I would encourage all pupils to look at and learn these keywords and their meanings. You will receive a set of flashcards to help you learn the keywords and terms from subjects during the first term. B is always research and websites you could use to support your learning. C is homework tasks you will be expected to complete through the term. Sometimes teachers will fill these in for you or you will have to fill in the date to be completed in your knowledge organiser when your teacher sets the homework in class. The homework might be linked to information in your knowledge organiser or something you are covering in class. This is a great opportunity for you as a pupil because you will be able to see in September what homework you will have to complete for the whole term. D is challenges. Challenges are extra tasks your teacher will set to you uh, to complete on your own, to stretch and challenge you as a learner. You will notice there are three different star ratings for challenges. One is the easiest, two is the next level up, and three is the most difficult. The important thing for you is to organise yourself. Which challenges do you think you'll be able to complete? Which ones will stretch you as a learner? The aim is to complete at least seven challenges alongside homework and classwork. Once you've completed a challenge, you need to show your subject teacher what you've done. They will sign your passport to confirm that you completed your challenge. If social distancing is still in place, they will be able to record that you've completed your challenge on class charts, a reward-based online point system. At the end of each term, there is an awards ceremony held to celebrate your success as learners. As a part of the ceremony, pupils who've completed seven challenges receive a bronze certificate. Pupils who receive 14 challenges get a silver certificate and for those people who've completed 20 or more challenges they receive a gold certificate. To go alongside the certificates you will also receive a badge to show the level of your achievement. You can pin this on your blazer and these reflect your effort and also reflect whether you've received a bronze, silver and gold standard. Each Friday you will spend time in form time learning key vocabulary, information or planning homework and all your challenges. You can expect Mrs Tompkins and your form teacher to discuss what you are doing in your knowledge organiser and also discuss your progress on homework and challenges. I will also pop in and see you and check on your progress and ask you how you're doing. In short year seven, you'll be seeing a lot of me. Each term you will receive a new knowledge organiser. These are the three different knowledge organisers year seven had last year. It is important to keep all three safe because these are summaries of everything you will learn across all your subjects in Year 7. There are also digital copies of each Knowledge Organiser on the school website. Mrs Tompkins will be sending you a Knowledge Organiser page this week for you to have a go at at home. There will be certificates for those who complete a challenge and the task set when you arrive in September. It would also be under the website under Transition. Diorg. Thank you very much Year 6 for listening. I look forward to meeting each and every single one of you when you start in September.